<laughs> okay, so today's today's five minute video. Bam! Ah. Today's five minute video is about uh, the time I talked to times, the multiple occasions, the times I talked to Spalding Gray. Um, Spalding Gray, who you may or may not know who that is. Um, you know, you can't know. You can't know who everybody is. He's he um he did monologues. He was a monologist. Um, he talked to himself, and other people were there while he did it. So he had an audience of himself talking to himself. Um, swimming to Cambodia from the eighties. Um, so you know, he's famous for a smidge minute in the fringe of the world, and you know, twenty five years ago, thirty years ago, and then now, then he died. So, whatever. But, um, I went to Martha's Vineyard in 1995. My mother and my sister and her, my brother-in-law and my little niece, um, and I immediately got on my bike and started riding the bike through Martha's Vineyard, which I've been to Martha's Vineyard before several times. Um, ever since I was a little kid, we would go there. Um, my grandparents lived in Falmouth, so it was a thing. Um, I, um... I was looking for John Belushi's grave, and I don't know how I didn't know, or thought I would know where it was. Somehow, I don't know if I had a map or something. I don't know. Back in 1995, you know, this was before uh, Google. Um, I didn't have a, I didn't have a GPS on my phone. I just had to look, go, f go for it, you know. And so, I went for this long bike ride. I think I found a graveyard. I don't know if it was the right one. I don't never, I never really actually. I'm not certain how I. Um, I'm not sure how that worked with with the thing. But anyway, on the way back from not finding John Belushi's grave, I stopped off at this little store that I found along the way. And as I was about to go in to get something to maybe eat, I saw Spalding Gray sitting in his car, or some car. He was sitting in a car. I don't know if he owned the car. It's just a car. He was sitting in a car eating. He was eating some food, you know, some sort of salad, you know. I just had seen him in a movie. He was in this movie called The Paper with Glenn Close and um, Michael Keaton. And um, and uh, so I like I just I in, in, I am I'm, I'm impinged. I'm pruned. I'm impinged. I'm I'm interrupted him. I walked up to him quietly, slowly and nicely, and said, "Excuse me. Uh, I I, don't, I hate to bother you. You're just sitting there in your car eating some food. I just wanted to say hi. I'm a big fan. And you know, he's like, oh yeah, okay, you know." And I go, what are you doing in Martha's Vineyard? And he goes, well, you know, I'm performing at this such and such theater. Some of these dates and the blah, blah, blah for the next couple of weeks. And I was like, oh, okay, well, all right, it's really cool. And then I said something to the effect of, um, I saw the paper, which is a movie he had a part in, you know. And then he goes, oh, really? Well, how's that movie? How's that? You know, because he hadn't seen it. He didn't watch the movie. And uh, I said, oh, you know, it's pretty good. I actually liked it. You know, it's a pretty good movie. And I go, anyway, you know, so thank you for, you know, sorry to bother you. And then it's the highlight of my day to meet you. And uh, he turned his car on and he starts to drive away and he, he yells out of his windows. And it was the highlight of my day to meet you as well. Now, okay, so then that happened. And then I tell my, then I tell my mother and my sister and my brother-in-law and my niece. And, you know, my niece is only two or something. She didn't know. She didn't know who the guy was. My mother didn't know who the guy was. My sister didn't know who the guy was. I thought my sister would know who the guy was. She listens to NPR. He's on the NP. Used to be on the NPR. Anyway, so she didn't know. My brother-in-law didn't know. No one knows. No one cares. No one cares. Um, a year later, I go to see Noam Chomsky. He's speaking at the Unitarian Church, I think, um, at Martha's Vineyard. And uh, I go over there. I get, you know, uh, uh, Falmouth. If you look this up, Martha's Vineyard, Falmouth, you know, you take the Island Queen. That's how you get over there. So I go go over there, take my bike, lock my bike up. I see Spalding Gray walking with his little daughter and I and and I kind of just right timing wise I just I'm walking behind them and I go I go sorry to bother you I, I met you last year you know it, it and, and he goes oh okay and I go it was the highlight of my day actually to meet you and then and he turns to me and he goes uh oh hey yeah did you ever find John Belushi's grave he remembered me from the year before and then in San Francisco a few years after that he was on some sort of book signing thing and uh, I went up, and I think I must have bought the. I think I must have felt like I should buy the book since I was like a fan at that point and talked talk to him and whatever. I went up, bought the book, and uh, and then like a year later, he killed himself. 
So that's how that ended. That's the Spalding Gray story. Thank you. And here's where I sing it, sing to a baby. <laughs> if you want to look it up on YouTube, I sing to a baby. I sing country music to a baby. Um, Patreon.com backslash Sharapa. Also subscribe to my channel.